congratulations on the film. I just got to watch uh, The Last Manhunt. You know, it's based on a real story. So why don't you uh, start by just giving um, viewers a little bit of a, a taste of what the story is and how your character fits in. So The Last Manhunt is a story about uh, the Chemaweve Indians who are based in what is now um, kind of like the Joshua Tree area border state line of California. Uh, and in early 1900s, a girl named Carlotta um, falls in love with a boy named Willie Boy, and they are forbidden in their relationship by her father, who was the chief of the Chimueve at the time. And um, through their forbidden love comes a, a challenge. And so they have to make the decision to stay together against the wishes of their family or um, separate and uh, be apart forever. And so that's kind of where, what sets the precedent for the whole film. Mm. Um, now it looked like it was a pretty interesting production. Talk about uh, maybe a scene that for you was your favorite to film. My favorite to film. Wow, I, well, majority of my, I would say my favorite scene to film on this was uh, actually the scene where Carlotta is sneaking out of her tent and, and trying to meet up with Willy Boy because I got to do that scene with Lily Gladstone as my mother and Zal McLaren as my father. And they're both incredible human beings in general, incredible actors and actresses. But um, getting to like be on that set, it was dressed so beautifully and lit so well. And um, I just remember like crawling underneath the tent and running across the field and seeing Zon McLaren on the other side of like, that's Zon McLaren on the other side of the field. He's, he's my dad. And so that was a, that was a crazy moment. It was one of the first days we shot. So that was a, definitely a favorite for me. I love working with Lily and Zon. Yeah. So talk a little bit about, get, I mean, I, I know you're a surfer professionally um, and your uncle, uh, Jason Momoa, was, wrote the, the, or came up with the, idea, the story for the, um, for the movie. Talk a little bit about uh, how you, he connected you with this project. Right. So, um, so I previously, long story. So Jason has mentored me uh, in acting since I was about 19. And Jason's done a lot to, as far as efforts to try to bring up the indigenous community with young actors, young filmmakers. So at the time I was one of the um, people that he was training, kind of like a protege. And so at the time I was on the television series for Apple called C um, that he was on the lead of. And uh, when C was over, you know, his next thing he was gonna move on to was The Last Manhunt. And so he thought that, and. Thomas Possibet, the writer, also thought that, you know, my disposition and the way I was suited the character. And they have been, you know, friends with all of the cast, all of the crew. It's kind of all these like beautiful people that they've picked up along the way as filmmakers and artists in their careers. So it's kind of like this culmination of bringing together this massive family of people um, into this production. And I think that you can see everything's really cohesive in that way, because it really was just a bunch of friends having fun and making art in the desert. Yeah, yeah, you get that sense. Did your uncle give you any acting advice about how to approach uh, this role? He did. He, I mean, he gives me advice in life on every aspect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Jason is, uh, he's like my uncle, he's like my brother. But he gave me, I mean, he really, in a way he led me through this film, but he also gave me a lot of leeway to figure everything out for myself. Um, and I also had like the guidance and a lot of advice from the rest of the cast. Um, I mean, they're all phenomenal actors as well, but, um, his kind of main advice was just to not to push, just kind of let everything flow and like finding, you know, those moments and sincerity. I think that's kind of something that he really strives for in his filmmaking and his acting as well. So that was his main advice. And I think it worked well for the film. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos 
and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.